read one the other day. I had enough of your sass, Judy. <laughs> right? All right, so this is the championship match. It, we're tied one to one. And I still never told you the reason why I don't like the ending. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were about to... So they, were talk so they had it, everything all set up to where they had Phoebe and Mike together, Chandler and Monica together, and then they got Rachel and Ross back together. What I didn't like was how they got Rachel and Ross back together. Before you go on, you want to do medium or dark roast? Let's do Dark Roast. Just because it's the championship. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I can do this while you continue your story. Or I can do it. Well, while you continue your story. Yeah. If you want. No, no, no. No! <laughs> Go ahead and add a player. And so uh, what I didn't like was uh, uh, how they got them back together about how Ross went to the airport to stop Rachel from taking that beautiful big job and you know all this and that and Rachel's is like this is the good hat like she's scared or whatever but this is the good scared she's excited for this and then she calls the Ross and, and says she loves him too Phoebe she's off the plane French alter ego is from oh I pressed the wrong one oh no one person is Son of a Eric bitch! Green. I meant to put that one! I pressed square! Jacob, Son of a Jacob. bitch! I'm gonna lose! Look, can't we just say that you believe in something and I don't? No, 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 Phoebs, we can't, okay? Because it's like math. One plus one equals two. I can't stand by and let you think that one plus one might equal three or four or yellow. Ah. Uh... Yes. Great. Everybody got it right. Shit! I was hoping you'd get it wrong. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I did not like the fact that they got Rachel off the plane when the whole series began with her running away from, uh, um... Really? Yeah, we got this fucking... Really? Really? Everyone's right. Um... After seeing Chandler talk to his when ex crazy Eddie, we see her in the very beginning together, of the show running from the up. altar, and it like begins her new chapter of her life. Why couldn't they end on that You're same sentiment and opening up a new chapter of her play. life in Paris? Because we saw this great character arc with her. She goes from a spoiled little rich girl that was. Uh, oh um, God, I didn't pay attention. I didn't either. Fuck. Nobody's right. Uh, oh well. Um, no but, harm done. Oh, so it's two per window. Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't notice that. Who is the fake party really for? I don't fucking know. Sorry. It wasn't no, Richard. I did Mike. <laughs> Shakeups and makeups. Um, but enough about your daydreams. <laughs> what happens to Monica's boxes of childhood toys? Oh, I, uh... You're all correct! Monica's but you see this amazing <laughs> arc where she goes from a spoiled little rich girl dependent on daddy to this independent woman who built, who climbed the ladder of, the, of her successful job to the point where they wanted her in Paris. Friends of friends. And they had her get off the plane just because she loves well, Ross? What are you going to do? Well, I guess I'm going to call the beer company and try to find out where he is. Everyone's on top. It was either Marcel or Ross Ben. Because it's uh, it be it, because she loved Marcel Ross. In a commercial for Monkey Shine Beer. Now she went from this woman who has an amazing job with an amazing job opportunity in Paris. Monkey Shine. I don't remember this. I don't remember that at all. Okay. And then I'm gonna tell you why the ending why the actual reason why that happened. And, but but anyways, to continue on, why couldn't so she's now going to go back to an independent woman, but with no job and having to rely on Ross when for the longest for the last part last few se um, seasons she was relying on herself. And for me, what I felt like was with that phone call, she says, "I love you so much." 
why don't we live together in Paris? And, uh, oh, live together in Paris. I bought you a plane ticket in your name. I'll see you on the next flight is at this time and day. I'll see you in Paris. Well, that would make sense from a storyline standpoint, but I know why they had it end the way they did, because they needed to have everybody in the apartment at the end. Oh, I know, but Because still. wasn't... Mike wasn't even there, right? No, in Mike the wasn't there. Yeah, so they they had to end it in the apartment or whatever. I That's know. literally the only reason why. Or for me, how it also should have ended as she left, but then, you know, Ross turned around and says, you know what, let's go back, let, let's go to Paris. And he could have said at the very end, yeah, we got a flight to catch. The Friends. Chandler, upon seeing the inside of Monica's secret closet... Is reminded of oh, what 1970 sitcom. Oh. Quincy is not a fucking sitcom. I don't even remember. I I got it right, so. No, one person is very wrong. Because it was full of junks, so I just assumed it was Sanford and Son. Wild card. Which friend? And I had the theme friends song from Sanford and Son. Pounds when they were born. You all answered correctly. Yeah, when he was eating the turkey all by himself. <laughs> How did Rook we... Well, we're tied now. A.K.A. Muggsy. I don't fucking know. No. Player four, excellent answer. I thought about it, Monica. Wild card. Useless information. That's what the father called him. And the one that could have been... Who is Rachel Mary? Really? Really? We got this one last really? time. Really? You're all right. Uh, that'd be weird if it was Jack. Jack Geller. Yeah. Ha! Huh, jokes on you, Rachel, what Monica, and Ross. Next? I'm your mother. You're all right on. It's one of my favorite moments. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> work and play. The friends. It still sounds like she says Rachel work first and play. uses what excuse to get out of attending the one woman play? Oh. Knows what's going on. How did you get Rachel that wrong? One to learn about Newcastle disease sounds random as shit. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what season it was, so I kind of thought that. I didn't know either, but I just like, <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is Newcastle disease? That must Where be correct. Rachel, me, her boyfriend, Joshua. Who the fuck is Joshua? We're both that gone. one is right. Sadly, the rest of you are. Oh! You're Remember it was the guy that caused Rachel and Ross to take a break? Useless information. No! Rachel and Ross's first ideas for baby names. One Fuck! I meant to put that. I thought about that one. Then I remember Baby Ruth. So I'm just like, Fuck! <laughs> well, they both wanted Ross it. Ross is told that the growth on his bum is what? Correct. I don't know why I was thinking of nubbin. You got it wrong? I got it wrong. I thought it was oh, Kundis. I thought it was, I guessed Kundis, so. It just seems pretty wild. And you're, you know, so vanilla. Uh, I'm going to get it wrong. Kudos to one of you. Who'd you put? Rachel. Because it was when she said that she kissed her roommate. I definitely would like some more details. I don't know why I put Chandler. Me. Please tell me more. I almost thought raw I would have got it wrong no matter what. Fuck, we're tied again. Work and play. AKA. Hard ass and wuss. <laughs> Hard ass and wuss? <laughs> Fuck! You disappoint me. No one I thought it was Monica and Chandler. <laughs> That's what I put too. Oh, you got it wrong too? Oh, yeah, okay. I got it wrong. I thought you got Let's it right. Go oh, like, oh, shit. Shit. You're all correct. I rem was remembering when he was doing the dog food commercial and he had a hernia. 
point at a bag to death. <laughs> Useless information. What's the rule for Ross and Chandler's fight with the bullies? Um. Uh, fuck, I got it wrong. The clock is someone doesn't know their stuff. Well, it is coming down to the wire. The friends. Ross meets Charlie Wheeler. How? Like, who's Charlie Wheeler? Like, oh. Come on. Fuck. Come on. They all sound good. All wrong. That was the one I thought was the least the likely. Wild cards. I even I, I couldn't remember who Charlie Wheeler was for half a second. I'm like, wait a minute, I know. Is she surrounded by the entire cast of Annie? Everybody knew that one. Yeah, that absolutely sounds like a Chandler line. Oh, it's getting close. Work and play. Useless information. What is Phoebe the hairdresser's nickname? Fuck, I should remember this one. Shit! Come on! Somebody got it right. God damn it, I thought I answered that last time and it was wrong when you and I were playing this for fun. Work and play. You As opposed to playing this for business, I guess. Right? Chandler used so Monica can avoid dinner with his boss. Uh Oh, I got it right, I guess. <laughs> Correct. I was thinking that. I was thinking that. Uh, you're still a little bit ahead of me, though. Joey does not list which of the following talents on his resume. Crap, he had a lot. Fuck. Um. Oh, I got it right. Correct. For someone. Now we're tied. Jesus. Shake-ups and make-ups. <laughs> I'm Jesus actually getting nervous now. What is Monica's biggest pet peeve? Oh, I know what this is! And I got it right. Because the control didn't go boom. Shit! Um. Yes! I remember that one. That's... Relationships. That whole episode is like burned into my brain. Joey seems to be handling it surprisingly well. Fuck! Great. Everyone yeah, that was the wrong right. Opie Joey time, I think. <laughs> I still fucking hate Opie Joey time. It was the worst. Relationships. The friends. Chandler and Phoebe sing along to which record after Janice leaves him and goes I back I don't to know. Shit! Sorry, no one got As soon as I saw that, I'm like, you, why did you pick the one I picked? <laughs> Shake ups and make What was it, Lionel Richie? AKA. Shit, that was my second one. bag. Someone knows what's going on. When Mike learned it was that Mike. Was name change, he threatened to change his to crap bag. Yes! Crap bag? Sounds like my ex husband. Oh, no up. laugh? <laughs> Player one, you're almost there. But almost it's more like a goat, help. but I'll take oh. it. Relationship. Useless information. Oh, boy. In what month did Monica and Chandler get married? Oh, Jesus. You're all correct. It was either May or April, I figured. One more right, Player one. Friends of friends. Useless information. Oh, boy. Where does Ross think his dead dog, Chi Chi, is? Oh. Uh, Someone knows what's going on. Really? You got it wrong? One question between you How? And Watch, there's going to be some easy shit that you know that I don't. What was Ross and Chandler's... Oh, I think I know this one. Yes! Only player one got that. Yes! <laughs> player one is victorious. 
I think it's clear. Oh, absolutely brilliant. It came down to the wire. All right, so I won <laughs> the best of three series. It was close. I knew it was going to be close. All right, so I win this time. So I guess I award myself the championship. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you all next time for I have no idea what. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our our friends, the one with all the trivia series. And uh, we'll, we'll see it again when we have Jacob here. Yeah. And hmm, I kind of want to be a mean. And let's do Dark Rose when he's playing, oh. just to see how much he <laughs> suffers. I kind of want. Okay, we're doing that. <laughs> All right, let's. We'll make a mental note. We'll put it on Dark Roast, and see. If, watch Jake like surprises us and just beats us into the ground. All or right. he gets the questions that you know we couldn't answer, like Probably. from tonight's episode that yeah. he got. Yeah. I don't know. So we'll see you some other time for more of this, and we'll see you next time for something completely different.